we come to the most important part of today's program. It is now time to listen to our true parents' precious message. True Mother is preparing with the utmost sincerity for the day of the entrance ceremony for the Channel Sanctum in Cheonunggung with excitement and overwhelming emotion. We welcome the True Mother, the substantial Holy Spirit and only begotten daughter with warm applause to offer our gratitude and glory, everyone. Please be seated quietly. Dear beloved uh, leaders and blessed families all around, all around the world, I love you. Yesterday, I received received a. A lot of love and gratitude from the the worship teams that performed yesterday. Uh, here, I have my great granddaughter who is here. Uh, oh, she was watching the competition yesterday with me who is two years old, I asked her after the competition, so all the performers did the be uh, were good, but who did the best? And she, she doesn't understand that there's first place or second place, but she said, she said the team where her dad is, the USA team, is uh, 100 points. And then she said, and she said, I have so many family members. She said everyone who participated as her family members. This is the heart of heaven centered on heavenly parent one family under god this is what we're striving for but chung ah who is only two years old she says she has like so many family members this is the true heart of the children of heavenly parent The Creator, Heavenly Parent, has always had a dream of creating a, the beautiful earth and in His I image created the cosmos and at the end created man and woman who could become the ancestors of humankind. And specifically for man and woman, gave time of growth period so that they could grow on their own and reach perfection and has waited for them to reach perfection on their own through the growth state, a growth period. However, the, the man and woman who are supposed to become the ancestors of humankind were not able to reach perfection uh, in the growth period and, and fell and because of the fall, became the ancestors of the fallen humankind and the humankind uh, suffered for 6,000 years uh, it suffered in pain through conflict and war and could, could not become united under heavenly parent and they live such a terrible life still uh, today however heaven cannot give up on the fallen humankind. That's why heaven brought about the providence of restoration and has chosen uh, the Israelites as his chosen people and through 4,000 year uh, providence of restoration has sent the only begotten son, Jesus, uh, to the Israelites. But they did not 
fully understand um, the essence of Jesus and even Mary, the mother of Jesus, did not understand the essence and the role of Jesus. Principle creation is very clear. If there is a man, there is a woman. Then if the only begotten son, there must be an only begotten daughter. But because they could not prepare and find such counterpart, Jesus had to go the way of the cross. Jesus said he will return. And when he returned, he will enjoy the marriage supper of the Lamb. The 2000 year history of Christianity began by the disciples and the works of the Holy Spirit, but they did not understand the essence of Jesus. That's why even today, they live just according uh, to what they understand uh, 2000 years ago and nothing has changed. But Heavenly Parent, the beginning and the same, a uh, beginning and the end is the same, and must see the completion of what He started. That is why, <coughs> centered on the, the Heaven's providence, The Israelites cannot continue on with the, the providence and because the Israelites were not able to fulfill their responsibility with Jesus, um, heaven had to prepare a new people to send the only begotten daughter. And that's what heaven has done for the uh, in human history. Heaven must be victorious. The only begotten daughter who is supposed to be born uh, for the completion of heaven's providence must come on the foundation of the uh, uh, must come on the foundation of the Christianity. That's why through the uh, the Christian movement that has moved to the North Korea in Pyongyang, and they brought about the independent movement in the Korean Peninsula. I was born in 1943. In 1945, Korea was liberated. But, bec but because of uh, the Allied forces, uh, the Korean Peninsula was split between North and the South. All the leaders involved wanted the liberation of Korea. Uh, but the Korean Peninsula was split between the communist communism and democracy. However, centered on the principle of creation, heaven must give growth period uh, time a growth period for the only begun to grow on her own until the age that she could make a decision on her own. Until she grows to that age, heaven must uh, protect her. And 
At the time, Korea, uh, after liberation in 1945, in 1950, the Korean War began. At the time, I was living in North Korea, but heaven guided me to uh, travel to the south. For the completion of Heavenly Parents' providence and the dream of Jesus, this, the second advent, the returning Messiah, should have met the only begotten daughter on the foundation of restored Christianity. He must meet the, he must meet the only begotten daughter. But the beginning was very difficult. That is why even until today, even now, the Christianity persecutes the Family Federation and the Unification Movement as a cult. It, it, the unthinkable is still happening. However, the only begotten daughter, True Mother, through True Mother, uh, the Foundation Day, a new era has begun. In the era of Chonilguk, Chonilguk is where perfected, blessed families with true parents live in attendance uh, with heavenly parent. It's the life of heaven on earth. That is Chonilguk. However. The world do not understand heaven's providence or heaven's dream. And especially, we're in preparing for the Chonunggong Chonin Sanctum where we'll be attending Heavenly Parent here on earth. You, but it would be very good if we could attend Heavenly Parent next year on the foundation where nations have been restored. That is why even uh, for a long time ago, I have been working or there has been many uh, famous gospels and worship songs uh, in longing and in waiting for Jesus who said who will return in Christianity. There have been, they made many, many beautiful and moving songs uh, with heart of uh, the longing for Jesus. But the Chanekuk era is different. It's the era of the completion of the providence. The, the blessed families who live within attendance of Heavenly Parent here on earth. What kind of heart of heaven should they live um, when we're attending Heavenly Parent in everyday life? Just like how Cheng Ah, who is two years old, uh, l l expressed it, expressed it. Uh, how can she express it in such a way? That's what we need to think about because that's the original heart that we should be feeling about Heavenly Parent. It's the first time in 6,000 year human history that we'll be attending Heavenly Parent here on Earth. This is such an exciting and, and it, that's why we need to express it in such a way so that we could make even more beautiful songs than um, Christianity has made the, the the contents of such songs is the essence of true parents heavenly parent if the human ancestor did not fall but reached perfection and if they became 
became perfected and become true parents, the true parents, uh, heavenly parent would have been there, and that would have been the day that the humanity will see the physical manifestation of heavenly parent. That is the dream of heavenly parent. However, even though there were not everything was ready and was uh, res uh, fully uh, restored, 1960 true parents um, came to earth and after many difficult years um, and 12, 12 years after the beginnings of the Chonegok era, we are preparing for the entrance ceremony next year. And in that sense, everyone who are gathered here as blessed families who will, uh, are in one heart and in um, a filial piety and loyalty to Heavenly Parent, we have to think about or how to realize the restoration of a Heavenly Parent's realm. Um, through the restore, restoration of Christianity and the world. All of you, the blessed families, are living in the golden era. I have said this before. The past and even the future, you are living in the era, living in the same time, and same, taking the same breath as the only begotten daughter. That is why this is the golden era. This will never come, never happen before, or will never come again. All of you here must become one with me and live and create the heaven on earth and live in such a uh, life uh, in alignment with me. And I hope that you promise to make such heaven on earth now. Thank you. Let us give a big round of applause to True Mother for giving us such words of blessing and love. Uh, the reason why I called back this team is because I have been talking about is because uh, the USA, which is of a Christian country, must fulfill its responsibility. Here. Therefore, uh, the USA, and particularly the, centered on the ACLC pastors, if the Christian realm. So, so it's important that you conduct basically uh, in a culture of praise to, so to bring together in unity the Christian realm. So please congratulate them with a big warm round of applause and encourage them in this. So True Mother has really has bestowed her blessings again to bring together again Christianity.